Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the time period of November 1st through the 14th. Okay, so November 1st through the 14th. I've already done one November reading for Sagittarius. I'll tag it to the end, but this is for, you know, the first two weeks per se. So what do we have for Sagittarius for the first two weeks of November? Synchronicity. Now I don't know if you're dealing with a Capricorn because I believe that Capricorn got this card as well. Are you noticing the signs of synchronicity that the spirit world have been sending to you at this time? People and situations in your life are just not are not just appearing by coincidence. In reality, they're being guided to you from the spirit world to help you for a specific reason. So, every there's no such thing as coincidence during this time. So really be a, paying attention to the signs. Okay, everything is happening as it should for a reason. You're going to be getting a lot of signs, things that you normally wouldn't think nothing of. Be aware. Be very, very aware because there's uh, going to be answers in things that you normally wouldn't look for answers in. Okay. Um, People and situations in your life are not just appearing, appearing by coincidence. People and situations. So don't forget that word, and situations. Things that are happening are happening for a reason, okay? Be aware, accept, allow. What do we have for Sagittarius? Unknown territory. Interesting. You are exactly where you need to be. So it is a time of being in unknown territory, needing to accept it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and read that card real quick. It looks like it's cold out there. It does look like, like it's cold. You may be wondering why you're here, why you're in this spot, but you're here. You're, you're here for a reason. You may be feeling very alone. You know, when I see somebody out in the cold, it makes me feel like, you're feeling alone, like you've been deserted. What do you do next? You know, that's kind of what I feel like there. Um, you're exactly where you need to be. Even if you're not consciously aware of it. Even if you don't have all the answers, keep going forward with your heart open. If you can't see clearly ahead and don't know where you're headed, keep moving forward. Do what feels right, even if your brain doesn't agree. Your heart always knows. Instead of dismay because you are in unknown territory, celebrate that you're expanding and growing by leaps and bounds. Sometimes the traveler feels lost. A lack of confidence or sense of being is unknown territory. It can seem that others know more or are more qualified. However, it can be this very feeling of not knowing that allows one to step outside the bounds of convention and reach beyond the perimeters of self that have been imposed by family, friends, society, and religion. It can be a very good thing. It can help you find yourself. Cherish those moments of not knowing. It's often during those times that the greatest revelations occur. Trust that all is well. You are where you should be. So you are going to find yourself in a place that feels very unknown. It's going to feel foreign to you. But this place will uh, be a catalyst to your own awakening, your own change. Unknown territory. That's what we got here. You are going to be in unknown territory. And I don't think you're going to be comfortable with it. 
So, what do we got for Sagittarius? Gaining wisdom, a lot of wisdom. I see that owl there. That's uh, that's somebody that is highly intuitive. You're going to be gaining uh, a lot of wisdom during during this time. Hangman and the Nine of Wands. So the hangman reverse, the hangman reverse is refusing to go in, struggling to let go, obsessed with control, not learning a lesson, somebody that won't change. Very, very stubborn. This stubborn individual is missing an opportunity. At this point, you're pointing the finger, right? Wrong answer. Now, this is somebody who is disagreeable. Okay, this is somebody that, you know, has had to fight. This is a wounded warrior, okay? Expecting trouble, always expecting trouble. Maybe angry, angry at life, what life has handed them. Mm. Wounded, very, very wounded. Um, hurt. Struggling, struggling with some sort of obsession. Struggling with letting go of ego. Uh, struggling with letting people in. Very, I feel like we have somebody here that is very angry. Um, ready to fight at the drop of a dime. You know, always ready to fight. Um, needing to let your guard down. Always expecting the next blow. It's like you're always expecting somebody, what are they going to do next? Well, you know, that's when, when life throws you one hurdle after another. I understand that. But you, you need to understand that um, everybody that throws blows, they have their own problems. Try to look, put yourself in their shoes for a minute, you know. Obviously, they're hurting. Obviously, they're wounded. Anyhow, a new perspective is needed with the hangman reversed. This is this is you needing to have a new perspective. And you can point the finger at somebody all you want. That's not going to work. That's going to keep you stuck. That keeps you in hangman mode when you can't take accept. So, this is uh the Nine of Wands, it's somebody that is very strong. You've come a long way. You have. You've come a lot of, long, long way. I feel like you have a lot of doubt. You have a lot of mistrust. You don't, you don't trust. You don't, and I think you have a good reason not to trust. I do. But I also feel like you have to find your ability to open up. You know, open up and stop being so... There's stubbornness here. You know, if you're holding a grudge, let go of the grudge. What what good does it do? Is it proving a point? Because I hate man about proving a point. You got a point to prove, so you got to hold a grudge. And so nobody, you know, wants to be around you because you're holding a grudge. I'm not... I mean, I suppose this could be for the cross watcher, but that doesn't help you when you point the finger. Just saying... For some of you, I feel like you also have, do have somebody around you that is very controlling. This person is hiding something. You got somebody that is hiding something. I don't know if you're dealing with a Pisces. Um, doesn't have to be a Pisces. I feel like you got somebody here that is, um, never going to change. This person isn't going to change. This person is egotistical. So yes, here I am pointing the finger, but that's that. I'm the reader, okay? I'm the reader. You have to accept within yourself, you know, who you are. Um, maybe God or the universe brought this person into your life to make you see something differently, to wake you up, to put you through a period of enlightenment, a period of awakening. I do see you looking at somebody that is very selfish. So you do have somebody around you that is very selfish. I think this person has hurt you in some way. Um, mm, ten of Swords reversed. Now the Ten of Swords reversed is 
the worst that has happened. Okay, this is the worst has happened. This is, um, I don't know, worst to come. There should, there could be some chronic health problems. This is uh, the straw that breaks the camel's back. Somebody, I mean, the, the Ten of Swords reverse is extremely painful. This is like a, could be a death, a death experience or a near-death experience. Something, you know, uh, there could be some recovery problems or something getting worse. Somebody is beyond help. It's like they're beyond help and they need help. Um, now this is, now, now it's like you made your bed. Now, I wonder if somebody is going to end up in jail or end up in prison. Because when I see that, sometimes I think about jail. I think about prison, you know. And I see you being an unknown to, or somebody that you're dealing with. Somebody may end up in, in prison. Or they could end up even worse. Somebody could end up even worse because they won't change. They're very, you know, I'm just saying. I'm not sure what is going on here. But it looks like there's some sort of punishment. Hangman is about punishment. So there's some sort of punishment that is coming. Um has to do with suffering a lot of suffering somebody has also been suffering in silence and I feel like uh, that's just about over that suffering in silence is just about over this one is struggling this person whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with we have somebody here that is very very egotistical will not change their mind this person is uh, very selfish they're hurting you I feel like there is somebody here that is hurting you they're hurting you, and I feel like you. There's, it's, it's just like you may be. You may be like, why? Why is this happening? And I do feel that way. Why is this happening? Seven of Cups. That's options, choices. Eight of Coins. Putting in effort, working really hard, trying to build something. Tower. Oh boy. So I feel like you are going to explode. I feel like you've been trying really, really hard to figure out. You know, what your options are, what you're going to do next, how you're going to come back, you know, how you're going to pick yourself up from rock bottom, whatever this rock bottom is. You got somebody here that is hindering you, though. Maybe it's your own thoughts. It could be your own thoughts. Um, could be another person, though. I feel like you are hurting. You are hurting. You're, you're, this is pain extremely painful it's like extremely wounded extremely hurt by a situation uh exploring options thinking about what to do next definitely thinking i think that you are really thinking about what your next option is um this i feel like you are um not ready to give up you're not ready to give up you're not ready to just let something go um and you're you're putting in a lot of effort to figure out what your next option is. You're putting in a lot of effort to create something. Um, you're building something. I don't know what you're building. Whatever you're building, it looks like you're gonna flip and you're gonna. It, this is like a tower moment. Okay, this is like an explosion. This is a destruction. It's like fuck it. I'm done. You know, that's what that is. It's like, I'm not going to do this anymore. Why am I even doing this? I feel like there's going to be a major disruption in the next two weeks. And maybe it's just where you come to a point where you just uh, uh, lose it. You just lose it, you know, because you've reached the end. You've reached the end of putting in effort or you've reached the end of creating whatever you were going to create. You get to this point of... Uh, well, this is this is a disturbance. It's an uproar. It's an explosion. It's it's shedding the light. It's like boom. It's like a it's like a uh, all of a sudden things crumble. All of a sudden you just decide you don't know why you're doing this anymore and you flip. You know you you may I feel like it's you too. I feel like you flip out. I do. I feel like it's you. It's like you're working away or you're doing something. You know you're trying to. You know, be strong. You're trying to be strong. You're determined to, you know, build something. And you get to a point where you just blow. You know, something happens and there's some sort of life change. or some sort of internal disruption. You know, that's what this is. It's like all of a sudden you just be like, to hell with it. Why am I even doing this? You know, that kind of thing. And you decide to just... 
uh, let it all crumble, let it all go. You just decide to uh, go someplace. It's like you decide, you know what, I can't do this anymore. I gotta go. I gotta go do this. You know, I'm not gonna even try to build this up anymore. I'm not gonna do this. Um, major disruption. Um, Page of Cups, Six of Wands, Reversed, Page of Swords. may have something to do with children here. There could be, um, this is a fight. There could be a fight over children, an argument over children. Um, a message is coming. A message is coming. Maybe uh, it's a message that... Uh, surprises you somebody is going to get some this is a shock it's a surprise so a surprise is coming um there is going to be some news that is coming you may receive news of a, of a birth or may not be um six of wands reversed that is a loss of some sort we have a very prideful smug cocky individual who has no staying power okay this person is disgraced they're embarrassed they have an overinflated ego this person whoever whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with is about to get some unwelcome news they're about to lose something they're about to lose uh lose their fight lose the battle they're you know whether it's you or them that is a loss it's, it's losing the fight it's not winning it's failing it's a setback um I do believe you are going to be either delivering some emotional news or you are going to be receiving some sort of emotional news. It's going to make you very emotional. It may bring, make you conflicted as well. Uh, a message is definitely coming, but I'm not sure it's, it's not what you want to hear. Um... I feel like for some of you, you may be pushing too hard or pushing too fast. Somebody may be stepping on another person's toes. Um, somebody may think that they know more than they actually do. You know, they're very inquisitive. They're very curious. It's like saying things without thinking as well. Somebody isn't thinking very clearly. They aren't. They're just very stubborn. Somebody is very, very stubborn. They're stuck on their ways. You know, they're stuck in, in on their their point of view. It's like, this is my point. I'm not changing my point. And it's causing a lot of chaos. It's causing an uproar. So I feel like there is going to be a major disturbance. Could be at your work. If you're at work, you know, if you're at work and you are refusing to budge and you're being stubborn and, you know, there's a know-it-all here. And there is. With the Six of Wands reverse and the Page of Cup Swords, um... You know, there's a, somebody here that thinks that they know it all. And I feel like this person that knows it all is about to get a rude awakening. Okay? They could get a rude awakening. They, You know, something could end abruptly. They could have an abrupt ending because of their unwillingness to change. You know, you're unwilling to budge. You're unwilling to see it from anybody else's point of view. Well, I guess we don't need you then. You know, that that kind of thing. I'm just being honest. Um, there's combativeness here. That's what I see. It's like, I, I'm going to fight about it. You know, somebody that is unwilling, unwilling to budge. And there's other options. There's other options. You have to pick your battles. And I feel like that's been a big struggle. It's been a big struggle for you instead of, you know, putting in effort to uh, work as a team. Okay. It's like, you got to work as a team. And I'm not saying that you, well, that's what it looks like. We have somebody here that is very independent that has a hard time working with others. And I'm going to tell you why I say that. Okay. And you do need to work with others. This is a very independent energy. Okay. Very independent. This is a loner. Okay. It doesn't really trust. I don't know why that freaking camera is because of that. Um, you know, very alone. And then this work card, you notice this is like working together. We got this, and this one's putting it on. You know, you got to work together with people. And I feel like it's been a struggle. I feel like it's been a struggle. That's what I see. And that's why the tower is right underneath it. That's explosion, explosion, explosive energy. It's like a major disturbance, a major disruption, right? 
So I feel like it's gonna you're gonna be working with somebody that you don't really want to work with. You know, you'd rather work yourself by yourself, and this person may see things differently than you do, and it causes an uproar. So I think you're gonna be dealing with that this week, or these two weeks. Um, I feel like you're you're gonna be on the defensive. I feel like uh, you may get some news of legalities with this page of swords okay there could be a loss of some sort with these two cards i'm not sure what the loss is but there definitely could be a loss may or may not survive with the ten of swords reverse now that could be may or may not survive at the job or at work or wherever you're going um this is getting stopped or being stopped somebody may get stopped um, they're not going to make it to wherever they're going, whatever that means to you. Um, this is a fail. Failing. But that page of cups is typically good news, but it's also very emotional. Okay. Um, hmm. I feel like we have a very stubborn individual that should be exploring other options, but they're so stubborn that they won't. Therefore, they're going to have a setback and they're going to get some unwelcome news that ends something shockingly. It's a shocking ending and it's because this individual will not budge. This is somebody, it's, it's my way or the highway. I'm a know-it-all. You know, I know I'm right. Well, no, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. Everybody has the right to their opinion. Everybody has the right to doing it their way. You know what I'm saying? Definitely struggling. And there's punishment here. So I don't know where the punishment is. If it's coming for you or the other person. There's punishment. I feel like there's, there's somebody that could end up in, you know, isolation or behind bars or something like that. Or even in a hospital. Um, we do have somebody here that is not going to succeed at whatever they're doing. They're not going to, and I'm sorry, they're not going to succeed right now. And it's not that they won't ever succeed. It's that they're not going to succeed right now because they're because they want to fight too much. This is very combative. Fighting isn't going to get an anger. There's anger here. The, the fighting fighting isn't going to get you anywhere. It's about being kind, acting with love, not hate, not you know always putting people on the spot. I do feel as though you are going to be starting over with a clean slate in some area of your life. Okay? You're going to be working probably with other people in the near future. For some of you, you may be going someplace where you ha where you will be rebuilding yourself. You know, you'll be building, your picking yourself up from rock bottom. I mean, I don't know where that's coming from, but that's what I see. Um, the tower is a faded event. It's a life change. It's an accident of some sort or, you know, a shocking uh, downfall. Okay, something falls apart. It falls apart really, really, really fast. It has to do with some, I don't know if it's a, where you've been working or living because that's a foundation. It's like things crumble and they crumble fast, really fast. And there is no choice. There's no choice but to start over. So you will be, this will be the week where things probably, uh, it looks like they fall apart. And I'm being honest with you. I mean, that that is, okay. I mean, it is what it is. That's falling apart. Okay. Um, and, it, and I feel like you're going to be shocked by it. You're going to be shocked. You're going to be like, what the hell just happened? You know, or somebody that you're dealing with may be saying that. What the hell just happened? Um, there's punishment. There's punishment for...
unwillingness to change, unwillingness to open up. Obsessed with control. The first card out, the hey man reverse. That is somebody that is obsessed with control. There even could be some like public embarrassment here with the six of wands reversed. Somebody's disgraced. They're embarrassed. I also feel like somebody may have, have uh, tried to hurt another person, tried to punish another person, and what goes around comes around. And, and what I, the reason I say that is because when I was shuffling, I saw the infinity symbol. Okay, that's what I saw. Was, and that's what goes around, comes around, goes around, comes around, goes around, comes around. So I feel like something is coming back around for somebody that hurt another person, you know. There's definitely somebody here that has some chronic health problems. And they need to find, they need to find the strength, okay? They need to find the strength and the discipline to uh, overcome them. And they haven't, and they need help. So there could be a major disturbance with, I don't know if it, maybe it's even with your body. Or somebody that you're dealing with. Anyhow, um... Something about the news, too. So I don't know if the news, something is about the news. Um, public recognition. I'm not sure it's in the best way, though. Anyhow, get prepared for a major life change. And maybe it's news. You're just receiving news. And this is a setback of some sort, but this is actually where you need to be. So you got to accept and allow. This is the resistance right here. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not allowing anything. Well, that's going to make your life harder. So this is a week of uh, major change. So be prepared for some sort of shocking, I don't know, news or something like that. But you are directly involved. It's something, you are, you are, you are a direct part of this. You, your choices, your choices cause the disruption, however that resonates with you. Good luck.